Hello everyone and welcome to today's uh, slightly different tutorial for my channel and it's how to do a YouTube banner. Now I get asked a lot about starting up a YouTube channel, how I came about doing mine, um, how I've grown etc etc and it got me thinking about maybe doing a little series um, on that. So if you are keen uh, to learn about starting up a YouTube channel maybe, it doesn't have to be sports editing or anything, how I grew, Hit me up in the comments below, uh, and it's something I, uh, I might uh, might consider doing. Uh, but with that, uh, I recently made a YouTube banner for a friend's YouTube channel to give it a bit of a professional feel, um, because branding is important. And I, I thought to myself, you know what, mine's lacking somewhat. Okay, it's quite tired, it's quite worn. I've not really done much to it recently. Um, could maybe do with spicing it up, doing a new logo. Um, because it's important these things people subscribe to these channels that look uh, like they're practicing what they preach so that being said let's get straight into it so I'm building this uh, brand new okay I've never I don't know what what we're going to finish with I've got a few ideas okay I've got a few of uh, my favorite images that I've made all right and uh, let's just get straight into it so first thing I'm going to do is I'm working on a Mac so I'm going to press command n for a new document if you're working on Windows you can press Control n Okay, and the width that we want is 2560 by 1440 pixels. And I'm going to change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Doesn't matter, we're not printing it. Excuse me, but uh, that's what I like to work with. So now, imagine this is your TV screen. So if someone's watching uh, on YouTube, on the TV, okay, this is the image that they're going to see. Um, what we need to do now is that we need the desktop and the Android and iPhone uh, dimensions in. So hit U on your keyboard or hit the uh, rectangle tool. Now, if you don't see it, okay, you can hold it down, okay, and you have these uh, different options. We want the rectangle tool. Make sure you've got shape selected, okay, and do the fill doesn't really matter, and just click anywhere on the canvas. And the first one we want is 2560 by 423. I'm going to click OK. Now, neat little trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Shift and select the background layer as well. So now both layers are uh, selected. I'm going to go over to my Move tool. All right. And uh, you'll notice we've got these little symbols here. These are going to align the shapes together. So this rectangle now will shoot to the middle because I'm going to select it to align in the middle. If I click this one, it'll, uh, well, we won't see it. I'll do it in a minute with so this one for the center for the horizontal and I click in it, it's already uh, aligned vertical now I can line it to the top I can line it to the bottom but we want to align it to the middle fantastic okay what we need to do we need to do that process again but with a different shape so hit that rectangle tool this time just going to change the shade in a little bit okay it doesn't matter what color hit anywhere on the canvas and I'm going to go with 1855 by four two three click OK again hit shift hit the background layer go over to your move tool and align them and then one last one select anywhere you want and we're gonna go for one five four six or four two three and click OK now I just need to change that color change that color there it doesn't really matter what we use Go to layers, hit shift, the bottom one, hit V for my move tool, and then we're just going to align them all. So then now we should have these shapes here. So this, this shape here, this dark grey, okay, that is your desktop, what people will see of your YouTube banner if they're viewing it from a desktop. The white represents the television, the grey, I think maybe Android, and this one maybe iPhone. Um, or vice versa but what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in our um, our guides so I'm going to select rectangle 3 okay now if you don't see your ruler on the top and side press command R or control R okay and it'll bring them in bring your guides down okay and they should snap in if they don't uh, you're gonna to have to google it I can't remember off the top of my head how you do snap it in um, I'm not going to do that now I uh, should have prepared that um, it's been so long since I've done it, but there is a way. If not, just try and line it up best you can. 
we're going to do is I'm going to bring my guides in from this side and over here. Now select rectangle two and same again, just there and just there so we can get an idea of what's going on. Okay, click rectangle one, hold shift, click rectangle three. Okay, I'm just going to drag them down and drop them in the bin there. So now, without the visual aids, we've just got our different canvas sizes. First thing we need is a big background image for the TV. So I was going to go with this Inter Milan one. Uh, however, I just made one. And all you can see in the middle is, is the guy's crotch. So <laughs> not ideal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the messy Terminator one, though. I'm just going to drop it straight in like that. Um, yeah, so anyone viewing from a TV will now see this as the uh, as the YouTube banner. Again, not ideal because we've got this, this shade in here where I've made it for a thumbnail. Um, however, it's not the end of the world. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Command J. Or you can just drag onto a new layer and a new layer will pop up. For the time being now, just hide the bottom layer. Okay. And then go over here, select M for your rectangle marquee tool. Okay, and we're just from that outside one to that one there. Okay, we're just going to drag and drop till we get our marching ants, as I like to call them. From there, I'm just going to select the mask tool. Okay, and it crops it out. Okay, next, I'm going to go back to my shape tool. Okay, there's a lot to follow on. If I'm talking fast, okay, you press K on your keyboard to pause it, or J to send it back 10 seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Now a straight rectangle will be pretty boring. So what we're going to do is click the pro on, on the properties tag. Okay, if you don't see it, go into Windows and select Properties. But we're going to move it. We'll say 20 degrees. Yeah, I think 20 degrees will be okay. Just give it a little bit of variety. And I'm going to drop that like that. I'm going to bring it up like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide that line there. So I will go to my move tool. I'm just going to drag it across something like that. That looks okay. But notice we've got these uh, these triangles sticking out. So what I can do is click on the uh, little window, little icon there of our layer mask. Hold Alt and drag up. And there we go, it crops it. Now we've got a plain old uh, rectangle there, it's pretty boring. So what we need is an image to go in it. Now I'm going to go with the Jaden Sancho one. Okay, and I'm just going to resize him down. Something like that looks okay. What we're going to do is we're going to clip him. So I'm going to hold Alt. This little icon appears, so now he's at the top as well. All right, if he's not, just drag him up above the rectangle and clip him there. And now we've got this image of Jaden Sanjo. And if we press Command T, okay, you can move him around, but we want him zoom in a little bit. There we go, we don't want him breaching. Out. Yep, there we go. So, what this is doing is just giving a sense people a sense of uh, what this channel's about uh, and then we can do this a few times actually so what we can do is uh, select the rectangle tool okay press command J because we duplicated it okay select the bottom one drag it above Jaden just there I'm going to come across and I'm going to put in He looks roughly the same. Okay, usually it locks on. Okay, select that layer there. And again, we'll go for the Mbappe one. I like this one with the head swap. People always moan about me about it being a head swap. All right. Or a kit swap, sorry. It's just, it is what it is. I like it. That's all that matters. As long as you enjoy and like your own work, that's what's important. And... There we go, hit enter. Okay, we're going to clip them again. Now this time we're going to right click and going to go down and go to um, clipping mask. Where's it gone? I can't find it. 
I'm just going to hold Alt and clip it there. And if I press Command T, again, I can move him around there like that. So people now can get a sense of uh, what this channel's about. Okay, and I think I might do one more. I'll click the rectangular brain, press Command J, bring it up just so you get the idea. There we go. Nice and centered. And this time what we'll do is we will bring in McTomney, McSauce, some Man United fans call him, and we'll clip that one as well. Press Command T. And if I zoom in, there we go. Lift him up so people can see on the rocks, get a sense of what they can expect on this YouTube channel. And there we go, there we've got a bit of our banner. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring Mbappe in. So I'm going to select that one, Command T. I'm going to bring him into that line's touch in there. There we go. And I'm going to do the same with Jaden Sancho. There we go. Okay, it's not the best, all right, but it's uh, you get get the idea, okay. And then if you now go to my YouTube channel, all right, you look on top, uh, look at the banner, okay, and you should see these three guys, okay. And if you see on your desktop, okay, you'll just see the extended part of just these arrows, uh, and then on the TV you'll just see this. But that, guys, is basically how you can uh, press Command H as well just to show them again, okay. That is basically how you do. A simple YouTube banner work to your heart's content okay you can do different shapes all right different squiggles different lines all right this is just a purely just very simple uh, tutorial for you guys to get yourself stuck into like I said before if you're keen to know a little bit more about how you set up your own YouTube channel um, do hit me in the comments below it might be something uh, I might consider doing because um, I know people like that sort of thing like to show off the work but Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a tutorial, hopefully, 